Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. We have 4 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x equals 1. Okay, um, what do we do? From here, we are going to break this 4. 4 here is the same as 2 times 2. So, there is a power of x over there. Then, minus 2 to the power of x equals 1. Now, 2 to the power of 2 is the same as 2. I mean, 2 times 2 is the same as 2 to the power of 2. Then, we have um, power of x minus 2 to the power of x equals 1. Right? Now, if this is the case then I can change the position of the power because it is multiplication, you know, between the powers. And if you're multiplying, the one that comes first does not really matter. So I'm going to write x there. And we have 2 to the power of x. Now this is now to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of x. Everything equals 1. Okay? Now, what again should I do? Now that we have 2 to the power of x in two places, let y be equal to 2 to the power of x. Okay, so by doing this, we we'll now have a quadratic equation so that in place of this, we have y to the power of 2. minus 2 to the power of x is y, right? Then, um, this will now be equal to 1. So, let's bring um, this to the other side. So, we have y squared minus y minus 1 equals 0. And this is a quadratic equation. Okay, and we are going to get this um we're going to solve this by using the formula method to use the formula you have to get your a your b and your c now our a is the coefficient of y squared that is one our b is the coefficient of y and that is minus one then c is the constant which is minus one and everything okay we we'll now put all of this into the formula which is y equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything is over 2 times a now let's put everything into this formula so that y now will be in place of minus b, I'll have minus minus 1. And I will explain this. Because some persons will use just negative 1 and continue. That is wrong. Now, in the formula, we have minus b. But b itself is minus 1. So this negative will come out. And b itself is negative 1. We now have plus or minus. Now, here again, this is where students also make mistake or make mistakes in, instead of writing um negative one in brackets to the power of two they'll just say minus one squared with their calculator and that will give them negative one instead of positive one so if you are to use calculator you must put everything in bracket then square it we now have minus four times one because a is one then times c, our c is um, negative 1. Okay, so we'll now divide everything here by 2 times 1 because a is 1. Okay, so if you're still with me and you're enjoying this, then you should subscribe to my channel. That way, you will be notified. You'll be notified every time I upload a video. Now, why? 
is equal to negative negative is positive so we have y plus or minus then minus 1 squared is the same as minus 1 times minus 1 and that will give us positive 1 then minus minus times minus will give us positive will give us plus and then 4 times 1 times 1 is still 4 as we divide everything by 2 now we will still continue so that our y will be equal to 1 plus or minus we will now have square root of 5 over 2 now this is a 2 in 1 solution because of this plus or minus this means that y is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 or 1 minus root 5 over 2 okay so let's continue with this okay so from here remember that we did not have anything to do with y from the question right but there was a point when we said that y is equal to 2 to the power of x so this means that from here now i will say 2 to the power of x is equal to what we have here which is 1 plus root 5 over 2 and like you know we will come back to this but let's deal with this first and we will take the log of both sides so we now have log 2x equals log of everything so we'll open bracket and write 1 plus root 5 then we have this over 2 now this will come behind as the power so we have x log 2 this is um, one of the laws of logarithm equals log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 now the next point is this since we are looking for x i should divide this by log of 2 then divide this by log of 2 so that this will go with this and then y is it y or x okay x will now be equal to the whole of this and from here again we can apply change of base and this 2 here will become the base to the numerator so we have log uh, open bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2 and all of this is to the base of 2 so this right here is one of the solutions to to the problem right now to get the other solution we will work with the value of y which is um let's look at it which is um this particular one right so remember when we still say that y equals 2 to the power of x so that means that these 2 to the power of x will now be equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2 remember this is one of the values of y take the log again like we did before we now have log of 2 to the power of x equals log of 1 minus root 5 then over 2 what do i do the power goes behind and we have x log 2 which is equal to log of 1 minus root 5 over 2 now the next i will do is to divide both sides by the log like i did before by log 2 then divide this by log of 2 and if i do that this is going to go with this and our x will now be log of open bracket 1 minus root 5 over 2 now this right here can become the base to the numerator so this will have base 2 because of this particular 2 so from here again 
we have another solution to the equation. Now, this is the second solution, like I said, and this is the first. And if you're still here with me, then you should do well to subscribe to my channel because you must have enjoyed the video. If that is a lie, let me know at the comment section. Thank you.